Blockchain technology has created all kinds of ways for ordinary people to earn passive income that don't exist anywhere else, like with flash loans, where you can borrow millions of dollars in cryptocurrency for free with zero money down with zero risk. Sounds crazy, right? Well, not exactly. I'm going to explain exactly why in this video. I'm going to tell you what flash loans are and the top three ways to make money with flash loans that work right now in 2024 and will continue to go crazy into 2025 as this crypto market heats up. I'm going to explain everything you need to know in this video today as a blockchain developer myself who works this technology on a daily basis and has done exactly what I'm going to talk about in this video today. So if you're new to my channel, hey, I'm Gregory and on this channel I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash that like button down below and subscribe. And if you want to see how to unlock the power of flash loans, then make sure you hold your spot for the flash loan masterclass this Thursday, November 14th. Inside, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about how to make passive income with flash loans step by step. And I'm going to give away my passive income application that I'm going to show in this video today. So trust me, you don't want to miss this. Hold your spot with the link down below. Okay, so let's get into this. So before we talk about the different ways to make money with flash loans, you first have to understand how they work in the first place. So basically a flash loan is like a cheat code on the blockchain where you can borrow millions of dollars in cryptocurrency for free with zero money down and zero risk that you can lose that money as long as you pay it back in the exact same transaction. So what does that mean? Well, basically blockchains have simple transactions and complex transactions, okay? So basically simple transactions, like if I'm just transferring cryptocurrency to my account to yours, that's just a transaction with one set of instructions, okay? But you can do complex transactions that have like step one, step two, step three, step four, like step one, borrow money, step two, do something with it, step three, pay the money back, and then step four, keep the profit. And so for example, you can take out flash loans from an app like Balancer, okay? This is a liquidity protocol built on top of the blockchain and they offer flash loans as a secondary function of that protocol where anybody can make use of it as long as they're paying it back in the same transaction to use for the methods I'm gonna show you in a second. So it's worth noting that flash loans are a technique that are only available to advanced users of the blockchain. So basically you have to have smart contracts in order to do this because because you can't pull off these complex transactions with a simple crypto wallet. You actually have to have a smart contract that programs the instructions like step one, step two, step three, step four. And that's what gives you such a massive edge here if you're a developer or if you have access to a developer to create these for you. And that's what I'm here for on this channel. And so in case you're wondering, you know, Balancer is my go-to source for flash loans. Again, this is not a sponsor video or anything like that. This is exactly what I use because it's so easy to get started with them. The documentation is really straightforward. It's just plug and play, and they are multi-chain. And also before we get into the different ways to make money with flash loans, again, two other properties of this is that there's zero risk that you can lose the money whenever you're borrowing it because, well, you're using smart contracts and they're not gonna let you accidentally fumble millions of dollars if you've borrowed that to use for trading. And again, the other aspect of this, having zero money down, basically means you can use as much money as you want that's available in the protocol because you're instantly paying it back in the same transaction. All right, so with that being said, let's talk about the different ways to make money with flash loans. Now, I'm gonna give you three different ways, the top ways, and with each one, I'm gonna explain the strategy and then I'm gonna tell you the pros and cons for each strategy so you can determine why you might want to do this. Okay, so let's start off with way number one, which is with leveraged yield farming, okay? So this is one of my favorite ways because there's guaranteed passive income with this strategy. So let's look at an app like Moonwell, okay? So what is this? This is a savings and lending application that runs on the blockchain. It's powered by smart contracts. So basically, users get onto this platform, okay? They have cryptocurrencies listed here, and you can deposit cryptocurrencies into it just like a bank, and you can earn interest, okay? So where's that interest coming from? Well, because on the other side of the equation, you can also borrow cryptocurrency with this application. So basically... Uh, you have to supply one cryptocurrency and borrow a different current cryptocurrency. And you can see you can earn, you know, 12% on USDC for something like this. These interest rates go up and down over time, but that's what the current state of things is. So a normal user can get on here with their MetaMask wallet, Phantom wallet, whatever, and deposit and earn 12% on USDC. You can see much higher on other cryptos. Now, that's guaranteed passive income, right? But you can multiply this as a developer with flash loans. And that's why this is one of my favorite strategies. This is the exact strategy I'm going to show you inside the flash loan masterclass this Thursday. Let me show you how. So basically, 
Um, let's say that you use $30 of your own money. I'm going to use $30, you know, just as an explanation. You'll see why here in a second. You take $30 you deposit into USDC, earning 12% interest, okay? So part of that's paid out by the well token, all right, not the USDC itself. But let's say that you do that and then you turn around and you borrow money, all right? Now, you can't do that with the same coin, all right, with this application, but what you can do is you can take $30 of your own money, you can take a flash loan out for $70, and now you can deposit that into the application. Now, instead of having $30 of your own money, you have $100 sitting in the protocol. And once you do that, you turn around and instantly borrow the $70 back from the protocol that you flash loaned, you pay that back to the flash loan provider, you do this all in one transaction with a smart contract, and that lets you take out the flash loan, pay it back in the same transaction, and now you have $100 sitting in the protocol instead of $30. Now, all you do is put your money in there and it sits there and earns way more passive income than a normal user could this protocol. Not to mention, if you compound your gains back into this, this number can add up really quickly and can cause you to double your money in a relatively short amount of time. So again, that's exactly what I'm gonna show you in the class this Thursday, so make sure you hold your spot with the link down below. Now, what are the pros and cons of this strategy? So the pros, like I was saying, is this guaranteed passive income, right? Like if you just turn this thing on, it's going to generate passive income and it's going to generate more than what normal people could do with an application like this. Um, it's truly set it and forget it. There's zero work involved. Uh, it's technologically pretty simple, okay? It's just got a smart contract that runs in the blockchain by itself. You don't have to babysit it or anything, okay? And if you're a developer, this is relatively easy to create. But if you're not a developer, again, you can just have one uh, create, you can have a developer create one for you. And again, that's what I'm here for you on this channel. Now, what are the cons? Because with everything good, there are downsides. So the downside is this does require some of your own capital. Okay, you're taking some of your own money and then you're multiplying that money with flash loans with this strategy. And whenever you're using your own money, there are of course going to come risks, okay? Now, there's always risks when you're holding your crypto, you're interacting with the DeFi application, but probably the biggest risk is that you would uh, borrow too much money in this case from the protocol. But again, there's definitely ways to keep this risk pretty low. I'll explain everything about that later. All right, so way number two to make passive income with flash loans is with arbitrage-based trading bots. Okay, so what are these? Well, you might've heard of crypto trading bots thinking like something's gonna try to predict the future of the cryptocurrency price and then buy and sell based on information. That's not how this works. This looks for opportunities in the marketplace that exist right now. So for example, if you can buy cryptocurrency on one exchange, all right, for $100 and sell on a different exchange for $101, that's a $1 profit, okay? So that doesn't sound great, but what if you do that with a lot of cryptocurrency or did it over and over again, those profits can start to add up. Now, you can do arbitrage on traditional cryptocurrency exchanges, things like, you know, Coinbase, Binance, okay? But the problem is, if you buy on one exchange and sell on another exchange, a centralized exchange, the prices might move on you by the time you move funds between those exchanges. Now, the beauty of blockchain is that there's all these decentralized exchanges out there like Uniswap, SushiSwap, Radium, et cetera, et cetera, okay, that have smart contracts that exist on the blockchain and as a developer, you can create your own smart contracts that hook into those and do the trades in real time, okay? So the prices can't move on you. And so what's even better is that you can use flash loans for this purpose, okay? So if you see a discrepancy in the marketplace, you can simply take out a flash loan, okay? And then you can uh, basically borrow the money, do the arbitrage, and then pay it back on the same transaction. You don't even have to have money to do the trade. You just have to have money to pay for the gas fees. And so in order to do an arbitrage trading bot, you need a few different things, okay? You need the smart contracts that actually does the trading. It takes out the flash loans. It orchestrates this process of, you know, arbitraging from one exchange, uh, moving to funds to a different exchange, and then getting all that back, getting the profit, sending it to your wallet, paying back the flash loan. It's sort of the wizard behind the curtains of orchestrating this whole thing. Now, you also need another component to this, which is a bot, okay, that lives off chain that essentially watches for these opportunities in the marketplace and then calls your contract in order to do these arbitrages, okay? So there's a little more complex than the leverage yield farm that I mentioned in example one, but that's how this works. So what are the pros and cons of this strategy? Well, the pros are that it requires no capital upfront. Okay, you don't need any your own money in order to trade. You do need money to pay for the gas fees whenever you're doing transactions, but that's it. And the other big benefit is that, you know, this can be quite lucrative, especially with bigger trades. So what are the cons? Okay, well, the cons are that number one, it's not truly passive, okay? It is passive in the sense that Whenever you're doing the trades, it can happen while you're asleep. It can truly make money while you sleep, okay? 
But you are going to have to do some work to set things up, to look for trading pairs, to try to tweak things and create your own strategies. And part of that built in is this can be a competitive strategy. So if other people are seeing the same arbitrage opportunity as you, you might get beat to those opportunities. But that's where sort of the work comes in play is creating strategies that other people aren't doing. All right. So the number three strategy for making money with flash loans is with liquidations. OK, in DeFi. So what is that? Well, let's go back to our uh, savings and lending application. I've talked about Moonwell. There's a bunch of different savings and lending applications out there, but they all basically work the same way, which is you supply an asset, okay, on one side, and then you take out a loan on the other side. Now, there's going to be lots of people out there who are basically uh, depositing, let's say, volatile cryptocurrency, like, I don't know, let's just say Ether, for example. And then they're borrowing stable coins on the other side because maybe they want to deposit their ETH and then take a stable coin out so they can trade it on a short term trade and then, you know, flip it and then pay the stable coin back and then pull their ETH back without ever having to sell that ETH in the first place. It's a common way that people use leverage in DeFi. It's just one way they do it. Okay. Now, unfortunately, with a volatile asset like this, like Ether, maybe some other cryptocurrency that's not a stable coin, the price can go up and down really fast. Okay. And with these protocols, you have to have a certain amount of collateral in the protocol when you're borrowing against that loan, okay? And if the asset price falls too much, then you can basically become in delinquent loan status, okay? It's basically, you're now borrowing too much. You're borrowing more than the application will let you because the asset you provide as collateral has dropped in value. That basically puts you in liquidation territory, all right? Now, with these applications, they're decentralized, okay? It's not like you're trading on a, a perpetual exchange where they're just gonna liquidate you automatically in a centralized fashion, okay? This is a decentralized exchange, so anybody can process these liquidations, all right? So if you're watching these protocols and the smart contracts, you could just help pay back the delinquent loan, okay? Liquidate the person and then get a fee for doing that. The protocols let anybody do it. And if you're tracking with me, you don't have to have your own money in order to do this, okay? You can use a flash loan to do it. So you can take out the flash loan, process liquidation, earn a reward for doing that, pay the flash loan back all in one transaction, okay? Now, I rank this strategy down at the last of the list, okay, because, you know, I don't love doing this strategy because obviously somebody on the other side of the screen has to lose in order for you to gain the situation. I don't necessarily think it's like unethical or anything because, you know, people who are using these protocols, hopefully they know what they're doing whenever they get in this liquidation status. You know, some people may not, but it's not a strategy I particularly focus on for that reason. Now, that being said, what are the pros and cons of a strategy like this? Uh, obviously, you don't need your own money in order to do it. Uh, you can automate this entire process with a searcher, just like I was talking about with the uh, trading bot. The cons are, uh, obviously, somebody has to lose money in order for you to gain in this situation. Uh, it's a, it's probably the smallest slice of the pie in terms of the overall profit that you can make with flash loans, and it also is competitive. All right, so those are the top three ways to make money with flash loans in 2024 and 2025. So if you want to see how to unlock the power of flash loans, make sure you hold your spot for the Flash Loan Masterclass this Thursday, November 14th. Inside, I'm going to show you everything you need to know, and I'm going to let you steal my passive income application that I talked about in this video today. So trust me, you don't want to miss this. Hold your spot with the link down below. So that's all I've got for today. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, and until next time.